Hey y'all, I am back in the shop today, as you can see, and I'm gonna show you some things on the miter saw. I'm actually gonna show you some things on both of the miter saws that we have. And since I'm not actually cutting today, I'm not gonna put my hair up. However, I am going to um, cut some stuff later on and I will have my hair up then. Um, and for the purposes of showing you some of the things on the miter saw, I do have them unplugged, so I will not be chopping my finger off and they will not be turning on during this video. All right, y'all, so I am a little shaky, but um, this is our miter saw right here. And this one actually has a stand on it that you can use. Um, not all miter saws do that. So we're gonna pull it up closer. So first we're gonna start off by talking about this. This right here is the fence. In the notes, you will see that you will read about the fence and the purposes of this. Um, this keeps it from going too far back in the, where the blade can't cut it. Um, this part right here, I'm just going to say for the purposes of this, this side and this, this is what is considered the table. Um, next you have the miter adjusting lever. So what you do is this one actually has a clamp, not seen one with a clamp before, but this one, you have a clamp and you can pull it and you are adjusting it along the miter scale. This is the miter scale here. You just put it at whatever angle you need to cut and it even has like little rib or little ridges so that you can stop it there. All right, this right here that is turning, that is considered the turn base. Um, I don't see on ours the um, vice grip that you'll see in the picture. I'll show you on the picture here. So this little lever right here is the vice grip that this one has. Um, I don't think either one of ours has that. Um, but moving on, we're going to talk about, I'm not going to stick my finger under the blade. This right here, this piece is considered the arm. Um, try not to forget anything. And then you have the slide, which is in the back here. It's going to be back here. It's where it like slides down. What makes it slide? Um... Then back here, you're going to have the dust bag that does not always catch stuff. And um, as you can see, it does make a mess still. Next, you have the stationary blade guard. I'm going to show you from this side. This is the blade guard that is absolutely covered that cannot be taken off. Um, it's going to take a lot of work to take that part off. However, we do have this plastic one here that does uncover when you pull it down. See how it moves? This right here is the retractable blade guard. And inside you can see that we have the blade there. Um, you also have a, you have the handle here. Sorry, you have the handle here. Um, this one has a trigger, which is the um, safety start button. Start button. So uh, some of them have a little extra play in them so that when you push this, it takes a lot of, effort to push it back and in order for us to start this miter saw hang on one second now i gotta switch hands um in order for you to start it you've got to pull it down and out make sure it's as far as it'll go out before pushing the button and then you would push your button i don't believe this one has an on off switch if it does according to this picture it is not visible and i will the only other thing that I did not show you is the bevel scale. The bevel scale is this scale right here. So that is all of the parts. All right, so now that you have seen all of the parts, you would typically be asked to label it. We would go over it a couple of times and then you would be asked to label it as an activity. But because of the fact that you're not here and you're not gonna be actually hands-on with this right now, you are not going to be required to label it. However, I do want you to keep these things in mind, especially if you plan on taking another ag class, because you have to take these safety tests every single year. And it makes it a lot easier if you remember what the parts are. Yeah, there's some parts that you'll forget, like some of these parts I don't remember, but take like making these safety tests for y'all on Google Forms, I remembered the answers because I took them so many times. Um, with that being said, I will show you all 
how to work the miter saw next week when I start cutting and um, working in the shop. So I will be showing you all of them. And let me know if you have any questions.